Amen. Let's worship the Lord. God is good and His mercy endures forever. The Lord reminds us in the book of Isaiah where He says that He loves us with an everlasting love. It is by His love that He has drawn us unto Him. And also in Lamentations, He tells us that it is because of His mercies that we are not consumed. His compassions never fail. That's the kind of God that we are serving, so full of mercy and compassion. And the Bible also tells us to offer up the sacrifice of praise unto God. We see how in the Old Testament that they offered sacrifices with animals, with bulls and goats. That's how they approached the throne of grace. But in the New Covenant, we see that our sacrifice is the fruit of our lips giving thanks unto His name. So we don't need to offer sacrifices like they did in the Old Testament. But we offer our bodies as living sacrifices to the Lord. The way we handle things in our workplaces, we say, Father, this is your temple. This, is, this belongs to you. And I have given this body as a sacrifice unto you, pleasing unto the Lord. So let's begin to worship him and say, Father, I'm bringing the fruit of my lips giving thanks unto your name. Let's rejoice in him. He's a good God and he's faithful. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And all of you joining us online, we're so glad that you're here. And we know that the power of God that is present in this room is also reaching to the place that you are in. And you can also be encouraged and strengthened with the same word that is preached here. Because we know there is no limitations to our God that he can be anywhere in any place at any time and he'll speak the right words that you need to hear this day. And wherever you go, remember this, God has called you to be a witness for his glory. And that's the reason we have a joy and rejoicing and a hope in this life because he has given us a joy that no man can take. We pray you'll be encouraged and ministered today. Let's rejoice in the Lord. We offer the sacrifice of praise unto him. Amen.
Spirit of God, not of corruptible things, Lord, but you have purchased us with your blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
Father, in spirit and truth. Your name is greater than any other name, Father. That name that is above every name. We worship you, God. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's sing from Philippians 4.13. I believe many of us know that verse, but it's a verse that we constantly need to remind ourselves. I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. Shall we all say it together? I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. My strength comes from above, not from below, but from the greater one that lives inside of me. And I believe all things are possible because I believe what the word says. Amen. Let's encourage ourselves and sing from this verse.
Father, the promises you've given us. We can do all things through Christ. Whatever we set our hands to, Father, we know that it prospers and it is blessed because of the anointing that lives on the inside of us. And wherever we touch, Father, we, or wherever we go, Father, we carry the anointing that you've put on the inside of us. Jesus, you are the anointed one in us. So, Father, when we lay our hands and when we, when, we, when we do things in life, Father, we know that it multiplies and it prospers because of your anointing in us, Father. And we know it's not our strength, Father, but it is Christ that is living in us. And that's how we live and that's how we move and have our being, Father. And we choose to take, not take the credit, but Lord, always give you the glory for everything that you've done in our lives. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for showing us amazing grace, Lord. Lord, you have promised good things to us. Thank you, Father. We remember your grace that came down to earth, Father. And you died humbling yourself so that we can be born into your family. And we honor you and we worship you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. got saved. It was His grace that brought you. Let's sing it together. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind.
who have never seen you but still believe and we know father that we are blessed blessed father when we believe your words that are true and eternal even though heaven and earth will pass away god you said your words shall endure forever your words will never pass away thank you father for the grace for eternity over 2000 years father grace that is still so freely available to us oh god Jesus he was he was beaten with a crown of thorns on his head you see how that crown of thorns represents the curse that was laid upon his head and when Jesus was carrying that crown of thorns he was carrying every kind of mind storm every kind of depression oppression everything that torments the mind was laid upon his head Isaiah 53 when you read that chapter it says that he has carried our griefs and our sorrows so every part of his mind was just tormented when he was carrying that crown of thorns on his head but we know Galatians 3:13 says that he carried our curse he became a curse for us that curse of mind problems the curse of depression and oppression was on him so you can have the blessing of a peaceful mind that's the blessing he gave you when you look at the cross look at it as a great exchange he was carrying the curse so you can receive in exchange his blessing the enemy has been troubling your mind maybe those of you watching on media through depression oppression it's not god's will for you to live like that God doesn't want you to live with a troubled mind. In fact, Jesus said, "Let not your heart be troubled. Don't let it be afraid." He said, "In the world there will come trials, but be of good cheer because I have overcome the world." So when you get thoughts in your mind, the enemy brings seeds of oppression and depression. Rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And don't use words like I have a bad memory, I keep forgetting things. my memory is not as sharp as it used to be you know we are sowing words seeds of death over our own mind jesus has given you a blessed and a prosperous mind he carried that curse so you can have a peaceful mind right now father we break the power of thoughts that have been planted in people's minds depression we break it in jesus name oppression we command you get out of these people's minds in the name of Jesus Lord you became a curse for us you carried the crown of thorns on your head 
and gave us peace of mind. So Father, we can go to sleep at night. Maybe some of you cannot go to sleep at night. We break that in Jesus' name. God says that he gives you his beloved sleep. And it's important even what you're planting in your heart. You know, we can open the door to the enemy by the things that we watch and see. That's why we, sometimes we can't go to bed at night. But you can say, Father, right now, I ask you to forgive me and I'm going to choose to plant things that are right and pleasing in your eyes. Put the word in your heart before you go to bed at night. Meditate on the scriptures, confess promises, and the Lord will start to give you a good night's rest. Thank you, Father. Be free in your minds in Jesus' name. Oppression, depression is under the curse. It doesn't belong to you. You have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ. You can think sound thoughts. Because God said he's given you not a spirit of fear, but a sound mind. Thank you, Lord. I have a sound mind. Just begin to say that. I have a sound mind. I have a sound mind. My mind is peaceful. I'm redeemed from the curse of every mind storm. I can think the thoughts that are lovely, that are honest, of good report. The thoughts that God speaks to me. I can think those thoughts. I have perfect peace in my mind as I keep it stayed on you, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Be free. Hallelujah. Let's look at each other and say, we have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ. Amen.